हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्यूवर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर एंड आई वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉ एजुकेशन वॉलेंटियर डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन अंडर ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट एटीन बिफोर दैट फ्रेंड्स please subscribe my channel and please press bell icon to receive further notification regarding new video lectures on the topic so friends let we start with topic this is a registration friends registration is very necessary for completion of transfer of property transaction as per the property act so let we discuss what is concept of registration friends so registration is nothing but it is a process registration is a process to record documents officially this process is followed by government to record documents officially or to record the evidence of documents that are prepared by parties for the transfer of properties see the property is nothing but the relationship of a things properties and individuals and this relations gives a basic right to owner to dispose the property but the property should be transferred without any dispute the property law ensures that it provides a process for the transfer of property in a such a manner that there will not be any future dispute and one of the aspect of that process is the registration of document see therefore the doc registration is a process through which the document is officially recorded so it takes place under the provisions of registration act 1908 so there is special enactment that deals with the registration of documents what document shall be registered what document shall not be registered or to which office it shall be registered and what process shall be followed that is all uh, provided under the registration act 1908 friends when the document is registered when the document is registered as per this process it becomes an important and valuable evidence of contents made in it or transaction contained in it so to convert mere document to convert mere document of transaction into evidence of transaction that document must be registered this is very essential friends under the transfer of property act certain transfers must be made through registered deed compulsory it is compulsory that documents must be made through that transaction must be completed through registered deed for example the gift of immovable property whatsoever the value of it that transaction should be completed by registered deed or the sale of immovable property uh, of rupees 100 or more such transaction should be compulsorily registered or simple mortgage can be made through document duly attested and registered by documents so such are the documents such are the transaction that should be completed with a written document and registered formally therefore this documents this transactions are compulsorily registrable so for its validity it must be registered therefore we must go through these two sections of registration act uh, 198 uh, which provides the list of documents which are compulsorily registrable and which are not compulsorily registrable so uh, section 17 of registration act 1908 it provides list of documents and deeds which are compulsorily registrable so for its validity the registration of such documents are, uh, are necessary 
and section 18 of the act provides all those documents list of documents uh, of uh, which the registration is optional it means its registration is not necessary for its validity so for example wheel sale of immovable property of value of rupees less than 100 such documents are not compulsory for registration its registration is optional but part is for the better uh, enjoyment of uh, right they can register it optionally so we are here and now we must see what is the process that must be followed for registration friends the transfer of transaction uh, must be covered as it is provided by either must be made as it is provided by the transfer of property act or the registration act so the transfer of transaction must be made through written form of document written form on stamp paper of prescribed value but nowadays the concept of stamp paper it became old and now you can use uh, the payment of stamp duty through pranking etc online payments are there even you can write this on plain papers also then uh, next procedure is that instrument what the document uh, transaction document that is made by parties that must be properly signed by parties executant means parties to that document and the witnesses that should be properly signed and their thumb uh, impression should be impressed on that document so the execution and attestation of document shall be completed then such document is after completion of all these formalities that document should be presented before sub registrar for the registration and it should be submitted to that office of proper jurisdiction then uh, registrar shall necessary shall take necessary steps for the registration the registrar after taking the statement of executants witness and after taking their signatures thumbs etc he shall accept he shall admit the document for registration then the party shall fees uh, shall pay fees of a registration then the document is registered in a prescribed register which is provided by that office now uh, such registration is made through online what the online process that is provided at that office that process shall be completed all formalities should be completed then after the completion of such formalities the sub registrar certifies at the back of that document that such document is duly registered on the date and time that is mentioned on that place so then after that the registrar shall affix the seal on the registered document and return it to parties and see this is the process that must be followed for the registration and once this process is completed then it is said that the particular document is registered so according to section 3 if the document which is duly registered in any part of india then such would mean that it is registered for all the territory of india so it is the legality of that document it can be used it can be accepted as a registered document at everywhere in india that can be accepted as evidence of all the contents that are mentioned in that document etc or the transaction also so friends this is the procedure for registration you must know what is the process of registration and when uh, any document is said to be registered as per the provisions of act so friends if you like this channel please like it share it so thank you friends